Hey from Wago and this video is titled the 7th the Seals and the 7th Chakra So many Rasta man in Jamaica um, because they read the Bible and the Bible they talk about the You know the Messiah which is um, a being from the tribe of Judah Who was gonna come on earth and you know unlock all the 7 seals and You know when they talk about the 7 seals guys it's the 7 chakras they might talk about And you know we understand in a Kundalini, um, Kundalini Yoga say when you unlock the seven chakras, then you're able to access the crown chakra. You know, because every chakra point deals with a different type of thing. You get what I say? And the crown chakra deals with mostly um, spiritual knowledge, um, spiritual perception, and them type of thing, and occult information. So, you know, information where the average being now goes possess. So, most shamans and most healers, most spiritual teachers, they are connected to their crown chakra. And in order for you to connect to your crown chakra, you have to go open all the seals below that in order to reach your crown chakra. So the whole seven seals have to go open. When you talk about the seven seals, you talk about the seven chakras. You know? And they say only one man was able to open the seven seals and actually read the book. You get what I say? And when they talk about re read the book, you know, they talk about the Akashic record because. When you open the seven chakra and access the crown chakra, this is the only chakra point, the crown chakra, where it actually can lead you to the Akashic records. And the Akashic records is the spiritual library. You get what I say? It's the place in the universe where all the information from time started, you know, before time, you know, BC, every single information, everything that happened in the universe is recorded, is, is stored in the Akashic records. So once you access the crown chakra, you're able to access information that every single information will ever exist, every single information that exists. So you, you have a lot of knowledge. You get what I say? So that's why them say yo, this this messiah being is an all-knowing being because every human being can actually do it. You know, it's not just a man from the tribe of Judah, but them talk about the tribe of Judah because that is the most advanced tribe. That was the most um, spiritual tribe at the time. But over time you know say so you have mixed scene, you know, this tribe of Reuben maybe mixed with Judah and you find say so the beings then become more versed, you know, more balanced. So you now have no one tribe you know where just spiritual, you know, you have a, you have many many people in the world right you now where have a little of the Reuben in them, a little of the God tribe, a little of the you know Judah tribe in them. So you now have no you know the tribe them not pure again but why them they said the tribe of Judah was going to be the tribe where this great messiah come from is because the tribe of Judah was the most advanced tribe at the time. Yeah man, though the, that was the tribe of the shamans them. And only the shamans at the time used to could have access the crown chakra. You know, and able to access the Akashic records. You get what I say? And able to open the seven chakras. It's not every being can do it.